where I am. I'm at the beach. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Yes, where I am, I'm at the beach. And I'm so happy to be back at the beach. It's been December 30th was when we came into lockdown in Ireland. I can only travel more than five kilometers. And if you're following my channel, you'd have seen that I pretty much exhausted the areas close to me, particularly inside in the woods. But now that I can travel again, I've come to an area which is pretty far from home, but within my county of Cork, and it is the Beira Peninsula. I'm at an area here which is called Alahees and it's a fantastically beautiful spot at all times of the year because you've got some beautiful mountains that surround us here, you've got turquoise blue water, you've got some lovely beaches and you've got some great areas I suppose to explore as well uh, around the whole vicinity. What I've done today is just arrived here now and the weather I don't care to be honest I don't care if it's good or bad weather I'm just so happy to be out but I've come along to the beach here and I have put the camera uh, set up here just to kind of capture a first couple of shots anyway really of these rocks that are here with the barnacles on the rocks on the right hand side and seaweed and because the water as well is so calm I'm just doing a couple of different types of exposures right now I'm doing a half a second exposure which is my normal exposure for the sea but I've also put on my uh, 10 stop and I've gone for a long exposure as well of around 30 seconds to completely smooth out that water and you can also then as well see these rocks that are underneath the water because the water as well is so clear settings at the moment actually I'm at half a second I'm at f10 ISO 100 and for the other shots then as well it was like I say 30 seconds I think my f-stop was around about f11 or something like that um, and I think I actually brought down my ISO as well to ISO 50 to give me that extra period of time to be able to do that exposure but yeah we're back to the beach let's see what we can get today I really hope that I get something I don't care either which way if it's good or bad but I really hope that I get a shot anyway that I'll be happy to look at when I get home from memories of my first trip back to the sea Where I've come over to now is a set of rocks that are just, I was over here a moment ago for my first shot and I'm just around it now here and there's a nice S curve coming through naturally in the rocks. You've got a number of barnacles as well that are on the rocks, some other rocks as well that are within the uh, pools that are being created and then also as well you've got the water as well that's flowing in. And what I'm doing at the moment is put back on my 10 stop and I'm taking a long exposure. Now the water isn't exactly all the way up towards me just yet but I will think that we're going to get some nice bit of movement because the tide is actually coming in and where I've got the camera at the moment here you can see maybe in your camera um, that there's a bit of sand and then you've got this rock pool then you've got the flow going out so you have a number of different elements within the actual scene 
So I've decided to keep a small bit of the sand below me here. If I just wait for this wave here now, keep a small bit of the sand below me here, one rock, and then everything just flowing back out as well and creating that flow going back out to the ocean. Well, in actual fact, it's not going back to the ocean because it's actually looking back in towards the beach, which is unusual for me because I'm normally looking out to the sea. But yeah, I think this is going to be a lovely shot as well. There's a lot of texture as well that's within that. So I'm going to make sure I nail this shot with focus and also with shutter speed because I want to be able to capture, obviously keeping it sharp, but I want to be able to capture some of the movement as well within the water. So I play around with long exposures or a mixture of different exposures. And yeah, I, th I do think this will be a nice photograph. Yeah, so yeah, I'll take this one and then I'm going to move forward and I'm going to capture that water and get the actual flow as well, uh, going back out as well for the next shot. Where I've come over to now is further over on the rocks and I'm right by the water as it's breaking over a sequence of rocks. But I spotted a bit of a rock pool which has some nice textures and nice colours as well. So what I've done is I've actually got four filters on. I have my polarizer, I've got my six stop, I've got a 10 stop and I also have a graduated so uh, kind of a bit overkill really but I want to go for a long exposure because the sun is coming out now and just lighting up that scene the scene small but too bright so I want to be able to control the light more so that's the beauty of the case system is that you can stack multiple filters on it now the challenge obviously the more glass you put in front the more integrity loss that you're actually going to potentially have but I do think that you know with the shot that I'm aiming for here with the water that's moving over it I do think it's going to give a nice photograph and I will be able to see as well into the water underneath here where there hasn't any waves that are rolling over it as well. Uh, settings at the moment, I'm at f11 and 30 seconds and my ISO is at 100 um, and I'm getting wet now with the water coming in as well but yeah, um, great to be back, don't care if I get wet to be honest with you, don't really care if the shots are going to be banger shots, they're going to be good for me because it's great to get back out, get back into the practice again of playing around with the movement of water and be able to see what type of photograph I can get. There's another spot just over here now as well with a very large rock pool, so I'm going to go over there next and I'm going to take a photograph which will be slightly different I think and I'll show you when I get to it. Final shot now I'm going to go for here on my trip, my first trip back to the sea, is quite unusual one like I mentioned a moment ago. So I'm further out here and I'm looking back in towards the beach and you have a rock pool here and there's a cut right through the centre like a spine and either side then you've got some flat enough water. And what I'm doing is taking a shot with the polarizer and all my other filters as well, a long exposure. 
and that's going to be able to see down into the rock pool but then you've got the beach on the far end which is quite unusual so kind of a juxtaposition really in relation to why I've got the uh, camera composed. I have really really enjoyed my day out. The rain actually has stayed off, it's only been drizzling which has been fine. Might have one or two spots of uh, water on the filter to try and clean off in post but like I said earlier I don't really care but it's been a phenomenal trip back out. I'm really really happy to get back out again and you know the reason I actually came to Beira is if you have never been here, it's a place in West Cork, it's absolutely beautiful. But I came here because I recorded a podcast with a photographer by the name of Norman McCluskey and he wrote a book on Beira and it was always something that I said, you know what, I want to come back, I want to come down here properly. So it was his kind of inspiration really to kind of come back down here. If you haven't seen that uh, or listened to that podcast, I'll leave a link to it up here. But yeah, phenomenal photographer as well, Norman, he's got a gallery as well in Kerry in Kenmare. So, um, I'll show you these images anyway here and any other ones I would have gotten along the way. Thank you very much as always for watching my episode of my vlog. If it's your first time on the channel, please do hit that subscribe button, give me a like, give me a comment and until the next time, schlong full. I was all set to head to the next stunning natural wonder of West Cork when a step too far changed that plan but I'll show you the footage at the end of what could have been. Thank you.